Well, hello, pirates, friends of pirate. It's me, Giuliano, and it's uh, 16th of May, 2021, and BTC is doing some interesting movement. So where are we with the RBTC and RUSDT charts? Well, friends of price charts, friends of Komodo platform, and you know the enemies that lurk about. All of you are welcome and thank you for joining. Thank you for continuing to, to really hit up that like button as though you are drunk at 2 a.m. and it's your booty call, you know. Again, none of this is advice nor advocacy. However, you know what I'm saying? Now, today, before we look at the charts, we are going to just quickly look at uh, these suckers right here from this Teespring. If you've used Teespring before, then you might be familiar. If not, well, this is a way for us to get some pirate gear out there into the wild. So we'll create uh, and help to support some of that brand awareness. I'm trying to keep it as cheap as possible. I'm not really trying to make profit per se out of this. It just really is about getting some, whoops, some features here. Oh, it's like, for example, this classic pirate white. Whoops, that's not exactly what I wanted, but I just wanted to show the overview. So this, for example, classic pirate white and classic pirate gold, they have the, the front and back design. Front is the pirate ship, back is the pirate name. All right, and then we've got our women pirate. And then for Komodo, we have a light and a dark and a sweater, a hoodie gray one. All right, anyway, enjoy, let me know what you think. I hope that maybe if you have some gifts to give, you know, it could be interesting to share that pirate, especially if pirate has been good to you and you want to share it in ways where you don't have to keep talking about it, but you can wear it. <laughs> share it by wearing it. Now, what do we have here in the charts? We have a talk about BTC USD going down. In that case, alt USD are going down in many cases more. Okay, maybe more. We've got also the alts in the BTC chart going sideways and down and maybe more compared to the BTC USD down move. Although the BTC USD down move is very violent right now compared to any of these, even the USD, R USD chart here that we've seen, that we're seeing, or the R BTC chart here that we're seeing. Both of them are not I mean, they were violently down here previously, but now in the consolidation period here of, of kind of sideways action, it is not definitely not the same movement, but they will catch up possibly if BTC really crashes further, especially the USD price of the R. The R BTC might, so this is what I've written here is some, some of those scenarios. That would be the scenario where the R BTC, let's see here, maybe says sideways, while the USD price goes down in in uh, in, in R, um, that would be over here, the first level. The second thing then is, you know, BTC finds a support, may it resets a base level, depending how long that happens. If if it's not a long time and it really capitulates and then impulses up to new highs, then we're off to the races in that sense. And then the alts USD will follow it up or go somewhat sideways and the alts BTC will go sideways and or down or just not really have the same performance because otherwise they'd be going up even faster than BTC, which is possible. Um, and that would be kind of the third option where BTC resets at a base level and it doesn't really impulse hard up, but it maybe it finds some highs and lows and kind of works its way, but in a stable and bullish sense after the big dump down. Right, so then the BTC finds that support, resets base level, and then whatever it's doing, the alts are impulsing up to newer highs in the BTC price, uh, which helps to carry higher moves in the USD price of the alts. Anyway, none of this is financial advice. Uh, and yeah, I've ordered a couple of samples of those t-shirts. So if you wanna hold off on that, that's fine. As well though, I'm putting a code, a coupon code, I guess your promotion code it's for five euro off or $5 off of the purchase. So check that out. And you can set um, the, 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 the oh, 
the promotion code if you want or not, you know, it's up to you. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, so, and, and, and back to the chart, sorry about that detour. <clears throat> this is actually a three day chart. So I'm just gonna get rid of this now uh, for now. Okay, we're, we're done with this. We can just move this up and to the left, back and to the left. Three-day chart, interesting, not interesting, but yes, interesting. A nice movement here. We're flattening out after a huge impulse. Interesting how it looks on the three-day chart. Let's see. So there you go. So there we are on a three-day chart, what it looked previously. Uh, we're in a good position, and I hope everyone's doing well, keeping hydrated and well-fed, well-rested, You know, working uh, through those healthy relationships and enjoying the company of the wise yes learning and growing okay now yeah thanks again for liking these videos the comments are, are great keep commenting and we're going to look now at the daily chart here okay just to find out our way a little bit after that initial zigzag pattern down correction down to the, on the R USDT, down to the about 550 level. These are relatively closing prices on daily, if I'm correct here. And we're now May 16, roughly 650, with a downward trend after a little bit of this sideways action. Yep, I think we are basically looking at some healthy movement, continuing to get rejected today by this upper red downtrending, what is it called, um, supply line. This would be a demand line, the yellow one, if we're talking in, in those terms. And we are breaking, in the hour chart, we see it better, we are breaking the upper uh, channel, the upward trending channel from the previous beginning of this move. I always forget to, to do so many things like give a higher full screen. I also want to show on the daily level now. Now we're starting to get close back to the zero level. So that's pretty good, but it might take a couple more days to really get closer. And then, yeah, by the 20s of May, we will be playing it out down here. We've made one, one move down with the histogram. Now coming for another move down with the histogram. Let's see if maybe we start getting some divergence. It might be what's called uh, divergence when this histogram here and then the next rounding of the histogram we'll see if the price matches the height in terms of lower higher or lower lower and yeah if it's diverging or converging in the same way uh, all right now that's the macd on the daily rsi on the daily now we're just looking kind of you know friends of indicators uh, friends of lagging indicators like RSI and MACD, welcome. We have a cool sideways action in the RSI. That's great. That tells me that we're just winding up and potential to go back up. That's awesome. And then we might even get, let's say in that stage, we might get some bearish diversions on the RSI at that point. But anyway, that's later, that's longer term here, uh, you know, into June, July, maybe September, November, whatever is happening. Okay, we've got weeks ahead of us to find out, but. It looks like if this is an impulse up and we are doing those 20, 30, 40 days, well, we are into getting into the thick of it and making our way towards this potential Kumo twist here. And we want to get up and beyond the $10 level in the USD price. Now, we don't know exactly how it'll happen. It, a lot factors in the BTC way. And also how bullish is the market psychology for altcoins. And I think that Interestingly, like fundamentally, one thing that uh, the uh, Elon Musk quote unquote scandal has done is also like bring into play the possibility and potential for altcoins to be seriously looked at as um, use cases beyond what they already are being done, but really have things played out in using them as well along with BTC. Uh, BTC really will continue to be the big strong bull that it is and the alts will always, well, no, I don't want to say alts, will continue in this run to be the alts. However, uh, it is coming more and more to the forefront 
that alts are coming to play and something like pirate chain R and something like even KMD. And we've got Varus coming along, MCL, Collider, all these things that are coming together, doing their thing, really making, uh, making producing the products, the technologies that uh, part of which are the coins that are traded and have prices to them. And then also how those are used and incorporated into the overall uh, blockchain infrastructure. And this includes now moving into interoperability. I mean, so Bitcoin is the big bull, but the interoperability narrative, if we call it that, the, that changes the narrative, it changes the game. It, it brings a different proportion to the altcoin space. And this uh, might be one of the one of the points along those lines. All right. Now, whew, here we are with this kind of downward trending. It looks like it's, it's going to be continuing. I don't see us staying within this triangle much longer, although who knows, it just might be trend lines. So we could reach all the way into the apex here around the 1819. But that would definitely be a lot of squeezing and sideways action, uh, maybe with, with Wix as well. But Definitely that would be happening. So yeah, again, if BTC has a violent impulse down, okay, we're going down to five dollars, folks, five fifty, whatever, you know, this region. All right. A violent impulse down will equate to violent impulse down. And we can see that on the uh, I'll show you on the one hour chart. When I say violent impulse down, I don't even mean like a group of uh, mono waves here. I'm actually really talking about in, encapsulated into single candles or, well, yeah, I guess groups of mono waves if uh, you really want to think of it like that. But yeah, just look at, whoops. So this dumping here is definitely associated with the weakness in the Bitcoin price. There's no doubt about it. So this is, there's more coming. There's definitely more coming if that's happening with Bitcoin. If not, if Bitcoin has found its level and this is its level, then that's the level. No problem. We've got this previous support here working on our favor at the uh, in the hour chart, and you know it has previous resistance levels to work with as well here and support here. So we are kind of in a zone that yeah is an interesting zone. Are we going to break it this time? Are we going to bounce off of it this time? Let's find out. Interesting. Okay, let's go to the four. Hour. Oh wait, let's just let's friends of lagging indicators want to see. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So now we might start kind of, well, now that it looks like it's going down, who knows, maybe it'll come down here, whatever. Okay, we'll see what happens. But we are starting to uh, work our way back up after a strong negative uh, level. And yeah, there we are. That's the one hour on the MACD. RSI, boom, one, two, three. So we did come back down here and we are lower into the oversold position. I don't remember, I don't know if you remember, uh, but I'm pretty sure that we talked about this okay, previously. All right. And it is here now going lower than this uh, May 15, which is yesterday, so whatever. Uh, and here May 13. So we are definitely coming back into this oversold territory in the RSI. It won't last very long. It won't last very long. It doesn't tend to. Snapbacks happen within a day or two, right? It doesn't mean that the price really goes much anywhere, but these are definitely good places. You know, if you are accumulating, you, this is what accumulating is about. It's about over time, regularly grabbing. If that's the style, then that's the style. There are other ways of accumulating too, but there are the regular every Wednesday, every Friday, or, you know, every time that there's a really good opportunity, like an RSI down here, then grab some more, you know, if that's the case, you know, and uh, but depending on the trend as well, you don't want to do this in a really strong downtrend you want to be kind of going the opposite way with your ins and outs but and that's about playing the ratios but that's another story okay so that's the one hour chart and whew, we are now uh looking to the four hour chart these seem to be the ones we we usually watch on this channel gravitate towards okay again look at this strong move down okay support 200 period average and here we are uh, below the cloud. We are waiting for 20th of May and into the 20s <clears throat> when the cloud will uh, narrow even more and hopefully eventually twist and whatever, allow for a bullish scenario 
in the near future. And again, so on the four hour, we did make it into a positive territory here and now back in towards negative territory, which is fine, just fine. And yeah, everything is looking pretty decent overall. You know, lagging indicators, friends of lagging indicators. Let us know what you think. If you're a friend of the MACD, a friend of the RSI, who, who do you have a best friend? Are you better friends with RSI? Are you better friends with MACD? What are, what are your thoughts? Anyway, let me know what you think. Definitely in the comments. I always appreciate. Yeah, what did we say about RSI? RSI is still hanging this kind of, um, you know, high of uh, the 30s, uh, 40 level. But uh, it looks like I think we are going to break it down. And I do think we are testing RSI wise. I think relative strength index we're going to test. Hopefully it actually goes to oversold. Let it go to oversold and clear out. That'll be the first time since before the big April bull. Let's do that. Why not? All right. I'm in. Are you in? I think I'm in. That's a four hour chart. So that's interesting. Okay. But again, that four hour RSI might just be a short term thing, which kind of rises up to even a $7 level from maybe a $5 level and then fizzles out further back down and more sideways corrective action. You know, you never know. This is again the RUSDT chart. And I think we are now nearing the final closing of the week candle, the weekly candle. So I do think we will look at it as well. What an interesting candle. What an interesting candle. Uh, oh, all of this time, the Bollinger Bands have not been in play, but look, we are finally on the weekly, back into, <laughs> into the Bollinger Band after that huge widening on the weekly level. Who's scary? The 20 period average is down here at $1. So in fact, the a, a, a strong BTC capitulation down to 38,000 or something like that, or even lower might uh, might be the case where we get a $4, $3 uh, R USDT. It's possible for sure, okay? So be prepared mentally, you know, financially, you know what I mean? Portfolio wise, I guess. Um, and here's where we sit, you know, it's, it is a green candle. So it is up, it is sideways overall. Uh, and it is, there is a lot of selling power here. So it's getting redistributed into hopefully strong hands. Otherwise it's just getting traded more, which is fine. There's more volume, more liquidity, more activity for buyers and sellers to, uh, to work into. It's good stuff. All right, well done everyone. So that is the, oops, that is the R USDT um, weekly time frame. Looking good. I, are you complaining? I don't know, I'm not complaining. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, that's that for that. And this is this for this. We're gonna go into the BTC looking at chart of our BTC. And this time I remembered to right away. Mm -hmm. Zoom it up, boom it up. So here we are. It looks like it will be very difficult in BTC price really to rise above this cloud. So likelihood is again that we are passing through the side of this uh, wall of this cloud, thin, thin, weak, weak. What is our relationship with this peach line going to be? It's so interesting to watch it develop. Um, it's just, again, a daily time frame, And here it is nearing the peachy line. So the longer we flirt with the peachy line, the better, the better. And in fact, yes, there is totally a world in which we might just float around here, whoops, or maybe move between the red and the green, uh, or between the green and the green. Let's let's see. Maybe it'll just be a slow bleed, as they call it, down to the green, and then back up, finding our way. Let us see. I hope you stick with me. We are halfway through the month. We're working on the 16th of May. Here is the RSI for the BTC price on the uh, RBTC chart. So let's see, maybe we get one of these. Maybe we get one of these. Let's keep this here for now. Maybe we get one of these and somehow hold that kind of a, a situation. That would be fun. That would definitely be fun. And we will keep this here and just watch. Do we break it? In which case, okay, we're looking for more weakness. 
I would imagine. And in fact, we might already be seeing that weakness because friends of lagging air and lagging air, lagging, lagging indicator will tell you that it's a lagging indicator. All right. <clears throat> And uh, friends of Ichimoku Cloud, if you have any input on what an Ichimoku Cloud is, I mean, there, it's an, the whole Ichimoku uh, set is quite interesting. It has the, the moving averages, which I'm not showing here. I'm not tending to use those because I have all those other moving averages. And it has, <clears throat> and again, I'm also using the Bollinger Bands, right? But at the cloud, which is kind of forward looking and present looking, as well as it has, I'm pointing with my hand, you guys are funny. It has this green here, lagging span, which also will give information about the current price potential based on where this lagging indicator interacts with its uh, current price, which is a past price. So it's a, anyway, yeah. All right, is there, do you call it a lagging indicator? What do you call it? So this is that, it's RSI. And uh, did we enable MACD? I don't think so. And if you want it, well, make a comment and I'll show it in the next video, okay? All right. And what else? And that would be obviously, I would, I would think that either you're trying to make friends with MACD or you know, you're just, maybe you're, you're one of its enemies and you wanna watch it suffer. <laughs> Whew, uh, we got a lot of sadists here <laughs> How about masochists. All right. Well, I know we have a lot of privacy advocates that's for sure and uh, i'm with you on that so bless you bless your heart bless your soul and uh it's nice to cross paths with you in this spinning globe solar system galactic oof, soup of energy so we're going to take this and look at candles and see yeah wow that's a bit of buying strength here on the day today for the btc price great so who are there people with BTC that want to buy this up? Possibly, or maybe again, it's just playing along with the USD and the and and the BTC USD price and the RUSDT price and how that needs to be played. It's it's always for me at this point at least it's tough to say who is wagging whom, you know, what is the cause and what is the effect, or what exactly is happening, and uh, that's about it. But yeah, maybe you don't see it on your screen. Okay. I, I am trying to do a better job of bringing you a better visual experience. So if you want to comment on that too, uh, maybe I should have actually, and get Orox, I'm wondering if we can have this, if maybe I don't know this sidebar, I guess I can only get it if I keep it up in here. So maybe I want to, I want to, oops, I, I do want to do that, but can I, how do I make this a starred? I can't, whatever, that's fine. Uh, thanks anyway, get Orox, I'm appreciating it. And if any of you are interested in charts and charting and using GetOrox, I've got a link down there below too. Did I say I was going to put a promo code on those uh, apparels? Well, if I didn't, I'm saying it now. And if you're hearing it again and you're annoyed, well, yeah, sort of. Now, we are going to get rid of those drawing tools again, though. And look at this candle. It is a hammer shape, kind of, um, you know, not, you know, it does have this wake up top. So that changes some of the uh, meaning, but also, it is, it is a good shape. It's just the color is not as advantageous here. Maybe if it were this shape, but higher and, and starting from yesterday's uh, closing and then making itself higher with the uh, buying support. But look at that on the daily, this 20 day moving average really giving that nice support zone and, and, and then encouraging a further up move. Congratulations, good job 20 day support line lagging support present for the the job good job all right now i mean it's it, it's only lagging because it's calculating data from the past but it's it's present because it gives us some indication about the relative uh, price relationships between the present and the past because remembering that everything is is really trying to find its way it's trying to discover itself its price the market the market is trying to discover uh and also the um the, the the it's all in that way it is needing to find a balance the homeostasis and which involves um hyper and hypo it involves an oscillation between taking it one direction and taking it in the other direction and it's interesting that the patterns do seem to play out in the shapes that are 
well documented at this point, really. Cool. And really, there is something for everyone and uh, many points of interest that can help you because technical analysis is really an art and a science in certain respects. Okay, daily chart action, BTC. Uh, oh, this is, yes, BTC, our BTC on the daily. Supported by the 20 period average, squeeze, starting to squeeze again, continuously, so just say, continuing to squeeze with those Bollinger Bands, heading towards that sideways Ichi Moku cloud taking it to a four hour candlestick chart. Again, we're showing some good buying support down here, uh, but below the four hour on the, below the four hour uh, tw um, 20 period average and within the cloud, let's see how long we can stick it out here in the BTC price. Ooh, and it looks promising to potentially, well, either way, whether we are, whether, whether we're on, on this side Whoa, that's the problem with keeping so many lines, isn't it? Or we're on this side of the cloud here. It looks like it won't matter because if the, if the market wants to move up, it will have the, it will have less resistance to do so if it's coming from underneath and if it's already sideways and up, then we're good. But we are saying that overall, um, whoops, that's not what we wanted to do. That is also not what we wanted to do. We wanted to do something more like this. And we wanted to do this. We wanted to do this. Now, what are we saying? What am I saying here? What I'm saying is basically it doesn't really matter, but most 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 likely the way that everything's looking, we're coming down here and we're gonna spend time here. And we're gonna have an opportunity to break through this whenever the market is ready. And that's fine, just fine. We're, we're, we're pirate and we're coming on strong overall. It, it is, it is a, a, a bright future for pirate chain and the whole Komodo ecosystem and the whole of the world through the technology of, and the products of crypto, Bitcoin and crypto and, and technology in general. So here we go now onto a one hour chart just to get a feel for it. Just, yeah, happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, and if you're, if you're looking for some pickup opportunities, well, they seem to be all around. So just go for it whenever you're comfortable. Set some low balls, maybe around the 10,000 level, because if we are breaking this, this level here around 12,000, uh, which is most likely if we come down to it, I don't want to say most likely, sorry. If we come down to it, uh, which it looks like we are doing, uh, so you can pick some up around the 12,000 level, uh, high 11s, and then, you know what? I mean, why wouldn't we come down and test the 10,000 level? We'll see it also, that will be depending on what the BTC price does and what the market wants the RUSD price to do, because it'll be also a part of the overall market sentiment of the uh, altcoin USD prices which will be in its own way reflective of the BTC USD prices. So there we are with all of this previously down, now sideways action. In the BTC chart, it's interesting how we're finding these levels. Maybe the levels are, maybe the levels are, you know, first it was down and then it was kind of down sideways and now higher level and then maybe higher level. Can we find eventually a higher level and then a higher level? That'd be cool. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for being here. We're gonna just check lastly this one hour RSI indicator it is neither here nor there and IMO. And then on the weekly time frame, boom. Okay, where do we stand in the BTC price on the weekly? Wow. We are, I don't, I still, I feel like it's a bit dangerous in the sense that like, look how we're strong, but we're going too strong. We're above the, the this cloud, uh, but that's okay. Okay, so we come back down, no problem. Yeah, come down to the 12,000 level and hang out top of the cloud, but we'll kind of, over the next one, two weeks, three weeks, we're gonna really see how this, e e uh, the cloud, I'm calling it a cloud. It's a band, a Bollinger band. That's the name. So I'm calling it a band and shout out to John Bollinger. Bands, 
I guess we really haven't really gotten into the friends of Bollinger and friends of Bollinger bands. So that is definitely coming up eventually soon too. Um, yeah, so we'll see how this kind of squeezes out, but uh, squeezes up and down here because we can't, are we just gonna stay sideways up in the top of this um, the band and wait for this to come up? Because it can, it can come up pretty quickly and then find its way into a more narrowing. And but yeah, we'll see, we will see. I think if the BTC price is really rocking up, that is definitely the case where, whoops, we are finding ourselves down to this type of level to meet our 20 period average. Anyway, it's it's really interesting this time around, and nothing is always the same. It's a reflective, it's a representative. It it it, it cycles. It, it it rhymes, whatever you want to say, right? However, it all has its own unique aspect, and and so this one is uh, definitely a, an interesting time, 2021 bull run, having some fun. I mean, much fun and much wow. Oof, unfortunately, I mean, doesn't it feel like something like this? I don't know, definitely don't know. But I think it's time to go and that's it for me. Thanks for joining. Thanks for hitting those buttons, the like button, hey, even a subscribe button, keep that going, share it. Woot woot, yeah, comment and all of that good stuff. Thanks for everything i appreciate you very much i look forward to seeing you for next week's candle this week of may 17 2021 and then the candle for the week of may 24 oh it's going to be great then we'll have one more final week of may candle which will include the beginning of the days of june stick with me i'm sticking with you friends of pirate are we're getting out of here it's time to go below deck maybe well, get some rest, yes, yes. Goodbye for now. Take care. Bon voyage as well.